what is good this your girl miss place here and i'm back bringing you my first topic of discussion before we talk about that in the background you'll see me playing roller champions i enjoy this game i mean i play this game in small bursts because half time i'm always panting to everybody else <laughs> but that's just me but this game is actually free to play and I am a Ubisoft content creator for Roller Champions. So if you see me streaming it on Twitch, hey, just peek in. It's free drops. Like if you have this game, it's a free in-game drop. Who doesn't like free stuff? And it comes through. It takes a little time, but you do get the drop. But let's get started. Topic of discussion. That I'm going to talk about is the saying, you don't owe anyone anything, true or false. Now, the true and false, I'm going to tell you like this. If you have a true and false in your thoughts on it, please put it in the comment below. But if you know me, I'm normally 50-50 with topics of discussion. Most times, especially because I can see like, and both ways what people are saying. But this one... I'm always hearing this in the content creator realm. You don't owe anyone anything. Now, when somebody puts that in there, they'll never go into just of what they mean or what their thought on it. But I'm going to need clarification from people what they mean when it comes to this. Now, I'm going to put in what I think as far as this topic of you don't owe anyone anything. Now, I'm going to say true and false. And for the truth side, I'm going to say yes. You do owe people something. And in my point of view in this, take it as a grain of salt. I say you owe people some time. And when I mean time, is like if you are a content creator, which I'm more going to predominantly do towards content creating, I'm not going to say too much in real life because that's either a hit or miss, but I'm going to say time. If you're streaming and a person comes in, they're taking their time out to see you. So the most you can do, regardless if they say nothing or not in stream, and I know how with especially with twitch that sometimes who's in there is not always updated just a simple thank y'all for being here goes a long way the the time you take to say thank you for being there goes a long way so yes that's one thing you do owe because they don't have to be there they can go find somebody else that appreciates them coming in and saying hi and thank you and when they come in, now, I'm not talking about the big streamer who gets 20,000 people, views, 100,000 views, because that's hard to go through 20,000 people, views, but just a general thank you for all being here, that still goes a long way. But the acknowledgement, when people drop, you know, a little bit of their chump change, I'm going to call it chump change because you know in that world... Some people are getting dipped off the change, but they drop a little bit of change and stuff because they appreciate what you do, and it's a little thought that helps and, you know, help you on a long way. It's probably not constant, but it's a little bit acknowledging them. It's something you do owe your people because without your people or without your following or without your community or without your fan base, however you want to call it, you wouldn't be you. And... Also, I say true to you got to have a clear intention on what you're doing. You do owe people that because if you're intended to be show your beauty and a more than provocative way, not under all people understand that. A lot of us old school and more mature people know what you're doing, so it's like it's neither here or there. But some of the ones that are just getting into it and they're like, they're just attracted to that. Make it clear, these are my attentions. Doesn't hurt none. If they leave, that means they weren't part of your fan base, part of your community, part of your your group or whatever you want to call it. But clear intentions. So that's why I say when it comes to this, that's you do owe them. Now, I also say false on this. Because, one, you don't owe your community money. You don't owe them love. 
Don't owe them personal information. But the only reason why I'm saying that is because the tip for tat sometimes can go the wrong way and can lead to people over imagining love and over becoming it becoming not safe. So no, you don't owe people money and not everybody wants money from you. And you have to sadly in this time you have to make your intention clear. Because if you don't, they're gonna think that you love them. Now, now if you're a, a, a person that wants to give out that love attention and all that, you need to be clear. Because everybody don't know what type of love you're trying to give in your community. So, these are the reason why I say no. But also, like I said, true or false. It's a true and false. Because in certain sense, you do owe them something. And it's not always financial. So no, you don't owe them money. Now, some communities do do financial giveaways and stuff. Or not as much. But or they give something back. And it doesn't always be monetary. But it's also... I think we'll go under a yes, like they give, you know, giveaways. It gi I mean, it gives you a chance to let that person know that they appreciate their community. So yeah, you don't owe them anything, but yes, you do owe them something. And no, it don't have to be financial. I don't expect anybody to give stuff always financial, because sometimes you're not able. But the non-financial things... The thank you for your time. The clear intentions. So yes, you do owe them something. Now the one that's an iffy. Now I do got an iffy. It's neither true nor false. Is friendships. Now, if you're not looking for friendships in your community. If you're not looking for friendships in your fan base. That you're not saying that you're trying to make it into. If you're not looking for friendships and real friends you do owe your community that you're not really trying to open up friendships and you don't have to because you don't have to be friends with everybody but however using that everybody's your friend and then cutting them off from nowhere that's not good either so you do owe people that are legitly trying to just be your friend they're not trying to take no intentions from you they're not trying to take advantage i mean yes there are people out there that are trying to be friends to get to the next side that are trying to get to the next step but if you're not sure and that's how you feel you do owe to let them know where where that leads to if if you're trying to be friend if you're not because this is where a lot of disconnect comes. And this could be where a lot of misinformation comes from. So, when it comes to this topic of discussion, you don't owe anyone anything. I'm still in the middle. Because in certain situations, yes. In certain situations, no. But you do owe people time to say thank you. Appreciating for you all being here. Because people's time is not always... As simple as it seems. Yes, people got time to do this, but don't have time to do that. But at the same time, the ones that do take their time out, appreciate them. Because they don't have to be there. They don't. And that's all I'm going to say about that. So, I do hope everybody liked this first topic of discussion. Let me know what you think in the comment section. You don't owe anyone anything, true or false, and what's your opinions on that? Please let me know. And till the next time, laters.